Hello. Today's story was never told. This story is not suitable for kids. This story happened in France. There is a huge abandoned mansion in France, where no one lived. The front gate were gone. The grass were so tall, no one can see the other end. Weed grew on the brick wall of the mansion. At the driveway of the mansion parked five cars. One car had rusted to a point beyond unrecognizable. The second oldest automobile which was also rusted, seemed to be a Ford Model T. The third and the fourth car had a 40 years gap time difference from the first two cars. One of the car was a Volkswagen Beetle. The brownish rust had covered the whole car. On the back seat of the car, there was a picnic basket. The car next to the Beetle was a Triumph Mayflower. Although the car was also badly damaged by the corroding metal. Some of the original color was still hanging on. The fifth car, which was also rusted, was a Corvette Stingray. This car had a 20 years time gap from the third and fourth car. Looking through the glass windows of the huge two-story mansion, it looked like the owner of the mansion left in a hurry leaving their possessions. Dishes and the tarnished silverware were orderly placed on the beautifully engraved dining table. The log in the fireplace was half burned. Two antique wooden chairs with cushions were placed in front of the fireplace. On top of the accent tables was two glass cup with a crystal bottle. The bottle was half full with brown liquor. Hats and coats were still hanging on the rack next to the front door. Beautiful oil paintings were still hanging in hallway. The curtains at maid's room were closed. But through the gap of the curtain, early 1900s makeup can be seen on the makeup table next to the window. Sheets and blankets were neatly folded on the bunk beds. There were still clothes hanging in the closet. Cobweb were everywhere. A layer of dust covered everything. In the backyard, there was a barn and two horse carriages. What could have happened to the people living in the mansion that make them leave their possession? Or, did they leave the mansion? The history of the mansion. Once, long time ago. A family of a wealthy merchant resides in a large mansion in a village near Paris. In France, these mansions are called the Chateau. In this chateau lived not only the family of the merchant, but also the servants who worked in this chateau. This chateau was in the merchant's family for as long as the people living in the village known. Then suddenly, in one day, everyone in the chateau mysteriously disappeared. No one knew what had happened to the family. It did not look like they moved somewhere else. Since their belongings were still there. Then since there was no sign of a struggle. A crime did not take place. This was noticed by the man who sells meat and vegetable to the family. After the family went missing. The relatives of the missing family was seen by villagers. They came to visit the missing family. They saw their relative walk into the chateau but no one again saw them leave. From then on, the chateau was called the Haunting Mansion. After World War I and World War II, the villager who used to reside in the village had moved to escape war. The mystery of the Haunted Mansion was forgotten. It was until 1955 another incident happened. It's been 47 years since the original owner of the chateau disappeared. The grass in the front yard has grown to a meter tall. The automobiles that belongs to the owner had rusted and became unrecognizable. This day. Two couples was on their way home from a picnic. One couple drove the Mayflower. The other drove the Beetle. On their way home. It started to rain heavily. There, they saw the chateau. They parked their car outside the mansion. The couple in the Beetle went into the chateau. They checked to see if there was someone living there. When they found out that it was empty. They told the other couple to come in. Their plan was to stay there until the rain stopped. But they disappeared. They were never seen again. Twenty years after the disappearing of the two couples. Another incident occurred. Just this time, someone lived to tell the tale. Again two cars was on their way home from a day of fun. One teenage boy was driving a Peugeot. 
On the passenger side sits his girlfriend. The car driving in front was the Corvette. In that car was also a teenage boy with his girlfriend. On their way home, they hit a thick fog. This fog was so thick, they can't much see the road ahead. Bumper to bumper, they slowly drove. By accident, they drove into the chateau. Since they got to the chateau, they waited for the fog to clear before they continue their way home. It was getting dark. With the fog it was harder to see. They went into the mansion. Using their cigarette lighter. They found their way around. They started to lit the candles in the chateau. Here I will call the, the two teens in the Corvette Ms. C and Mr. C. I will call the teens in the Peugeot car Mr. P and Ms. P. A few minutes later. They were separated. Everyone went their own way as they studied the chateau. Mr. P went to the kitchen. Mr. C was studying the paintings on the wall. Ms. P went to the master bedroom. She sat in front of the makeup table and started to look through the jewelry. She put on a crystal necklace and looked at herself in the mirror. As she looked into the mirror, she suddenly saw a face of a woman vanish from the mirror. Ms. P was spooked. Her heart started to beat heavy. She looked around. There was no one else in the room. She got up and ran out the room. As she was looking for the rest of the crew, she found Miss C in the children's room. The room was filled with dolls. Miss C was holding one doll in her hand. When Miss P looked at the doll Miss C was holding, the doll turned its head and looked at Miss P. Miss P screamed in fear. Miss C did not see the head of the doll turn. She was looking at Miss P entering the room. When Miss P screamed, Miss C dropped the doll to cover her ears. Miss P ran toward Miss C and pulled Miss C out the room. Miss C did not know what was going on. She tried to ask Miss P. But Miss P didn't seem to listen. As the two young girls searched for Mr. P and Mr. C. Mr. C was nowhere to be found. Mr. P was found drinking the liquor next to the fireplace. Ms. P told Mr. P what she saw. He said she was just scaring herself. But then Ms. P tried to convince him. Mr. P said let's stick together and find Mr. C. The three walked into the hallway not knowing where it might lead them. Mr. P was holding Ms. P's hand. In the middle of the hallway there was a mirror. As they passed by the mirror, Ms. P saw a woman dressed in maid's clothes rushed by them in the mirror. Ms. P screamed and cried in fear. As she was crying, she said she saw someone walk by them in the mirror. Mr. P and Ms. C examines the mirror and said. See there's no one there. You are just scaring yourself. Right after they said that. Both Mr. P and Ms. C walked like they were sleepwalking toward the other end of the hall. Ms. P tried to pull them back. She cried and begged them not to go. But they just kept walking as if Ms. P wasn't there. By then Ms. P was already too frightened. She ran the other way. As she was running, she was tripped by something and fell onto the floor. She felt something on her leg. But she saw nothing there. Ms. P kicked her own leg to loosen whatever that was on her leg. She managed to loosen the thing on her leg and ran out the front door. It was still very foggy and dark outside. She tried to open the first car she saw. It was locked. She ran to the next car crying in fear. Her boyfriend had left his keys in the car. Although she hit many things. She managed to drive the car out of the chateau. After a moment of driving her boyfriend's Peugeot. She crashed the car into a tree. She was driving pretty fast. The car was totaled. The whole front of the car was curved into the tree. People found Ms. P in the morning and sent her to the hospital. She was alive. But she was mentally unstable. The crystal necklace was still around her neck. The silver cross that was supposed to be in her boyfriend's car was in her hand. The color of the silver cross had turned black. She was later sent to a mental hospital and stayed there most her life. She repeated this story many times. Some who believe her said that Ms. P and her friend found the house of evil spirits. 
whoever goes into the house will be swallowed in whole. Some said the chateau was used for demonic rituals. Then when it got out of control, evil cursed the chateau. Those who did not believe her will say that there was poison in the fog. It caused her to hallucinate which led to her brain damage. What do you think could have happened? Thank you for listening to this story. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Till next. Stay safe.